wild horses have roamed the land way before most settlers stepped foot on American soil, and today they're suffering badly. Bureau of Land Management, the BLM, are to round up 150 wild horses in the Fish Lake Valley on the 20th of August 2013 and sell them off for what they say is adoption. Along the highways you see signs stating free range with a picture of a cow. This leads me to think that ranchers have a huge say as to why these horses are being expelled from their land. Horses and cows obviously compete for the same food, so the rancher wants the food for his livestock. There's also evidence of mining going on all over the desert valley, so miners don't want horses in their way either. The BLM want to remove 150 wild horses from Fish Lake Valley. Fish Lake is an area that has other BLM districts on one side and the Forest Service on the other. Horses moving in from other districts are creating stress on grazing. I believe removing 150 animals will just have 150 animals move in from other areas. Surely a larger plan and smaller removal of distressed animals is needed by the BLM. Tonopah, the closest town to Fish Lake Valley, just sold a huge amount of land to fracking. The mines and the ranchers seem to have the BLM in their pocket. Are the BLM being transparent enough? I tried to interview one employee and they declined to say anything. One thing that bemuses me are the lands are public. They are leased to ranchers but ranchers believe the land belongs to them. One rancher was heard saying, these horses should just die as he was unloading a truck full of cows onto the land. The BLM sell the horses between $90 and $150, and once they've been sold, the BLM don't follow up with the so-called adoption. Many people believe the buyers take the horses to Mexican slaughterhouses, where they end up in burgers and dog food. What also amazes me is the BLM deliver the horses for free. Say a buyer takes 30 horses at $100 each, that's $3,000 the buyer pays. No charge for the helicopter, the contractors or the delivery fees. It's all tax dollars that fund it. These horses you're now looking at are a family unit. They will not see each other again after the 20th of August. These animals have feelings and emotions just like you and me. I watched a family of five horses walk through the intense heat looking for water. One horse was lagging behind and was obviously struggling. I drove my car for half a mile down the highway and watched as they came around the bend in the road. The struggler was a good 500 yards behind the pack. Suddenly, the leader of the pack turned around and walked back towards the lone horse. When the struggler caught up, she showed an outpouring of emotion and nodded her head. It was as if the pack leader came by to say, come on mate, you can make it, not long to go now. It was extremely moving. It proves that they care, have love and affection just like us. After this month, these pictures will be the only record of their existence and this film will be all that's left of these amazing animals. You are their only chance. Be their voice so that their families can live and roam on the land where they have done for hundreds of years. Be the voice of the voiceless. Please visit www.wildhorseeducation.org and support the work that Laura Lay does. 
Educate yourself on the plight of the wild horse. This is one of the last great American icons. <laughs>